All right, got the Davac 2 CFM battery vacuum pump. That little bugger has pulled down this whole rack. Um, it's done a pretty decent little job on it. You'll need four batteries to rock this thing uh, if you want to use it because the batteries will die. And then on your next uh, your next job, the batteries will be dead. So it's good for like one job. If you don't have four batteries, your batteries will be dead. Hey, Michael, how you doing? Um, talking about the Navac 2 CFM battery vacuum pump, it will have pulled down this whole rack, this whole job I'm on. And uh, it's done it just fine because I'm not in a rush. Um, what else? With two batteries, you'll get done with one unit and you'll have to recharge. Like if you had to go to another job, I'd recommend that you had four batteries. You're still gonna need your electric pump though for your next job. Aloha, Dino, Shaka. I'm doing good. Oh, Keith, what's up? I'm doing good. Let me see if I can, uh... yeah, there he is. It's bright out here. I'm doing good, just working on my job. My uh, my coil job at the restaurant, I'm almost done with it. I'm waiting on one more coil to show up and then I'm finished. I'll be all done. I got all the bird crap cleaned up. I got the lines all re-insulated and stuff over here. That old condenser staying, that was off an old uh, ice maker. So they've just abandoned it. All these train units are coming off. I'm not doing that though, wish I was. <laughs> um. The guy that bought the restaurant actually is a mechanical contractor, so he's going for it. Oh, look at this. Paradise. Downtown today. It's kind of nice out. It's probably in the 60s. Sunny, nice. Let's see if I can flip it around for you guys. Yeah, sunny, nice. Here we go. Ring. A little downtown action. What's everybody working on today? I got bored with, with while it's on the vacuum pump and hit the live stream. Checking in. All right, Ralph, what's up? <laughs> what do you guys think about that little vacuum pump? I'm working on a burrito bowl from Chipotle. Good job, Ron. Two batteries has worked. Okay. Two batteries is okay for one job, but if like if you get called out of here right now and go to your next service call and you need the vacuum pump, you won't have time for the batteries to recharge. If that makes sense. Fourteen-year-old Manitowoc ice maker plate falling apart. There you go, king of the crease, the ice maker master. Um, so you would need four batteries with that little battery vacuum pump, but it works. It'll get it down. If you have time, if you guys have time, I know a lot of you guys don't have time to wait for a tiny vacuum pump to pull down. But for specific jobs, you gotta come up the roof. I don't know. Um, it would have its it would have its part in the arsenal. Bunch of PM scheduled. Yeah, it's that time of the year before summer. The endless winter's going on. The old before summer go down. My veto bag's still hanging tough. I put this thing through the ringer. I think it was Billy Noth that, that showed this one way back. And I bought this thing. God, I moved up from the CLC bags. What an upgrade. Who's rocking the, uh, the veto bags? Love that thing. Yeah, it was a sm they're small units I use the vacuum pump on. How does it go? So you could double your CFM for your tonnage of unit. So if you got a four ton, I could go up to a four ton unit maybe. Oh, four veto bags. I got one veto bag. What else? Let's flip the camera around so I could, I could read and talk to you guys at the same time. I got a new, oh, you got the new MC backpack. Woohoo! Oh, both of you guys. Robert Walsh is rocking it. The Vito tote bag is great for bringing a lot of stuff to the roof. I have a CLC tote that I use. I'll put a bunch of crap in. I've had on videos. Um, M2 bag. 
the bigger one. Okay. I'm always looking for, for stuff to make life easier, especially carrying stuff up to the roof. To the roof. I had to take my glasses off because I'm nearsighted and my sunglasses are so I could see far away, but then I can't see up close. I'm kind of backwards. As I got older, I was supposed to lose my eyesight up close and it went backwards. But I still have the up close. It's kind of neat. You need to get a new MC backpack. I'm going to take a look at those. I think um, Tom Powell did a, just did a review on his channel of that. Oh, he's got a killer. Hey, you guys, you guys want to learn the work on those VRV units? He works for Daikin now. Um, he put a killer video step by step going through the PC board for the Daikin units. I highly recommend that, watching that. I've watched it probably three times already. I'm gonna watch it again. Uh, I'm always learning stuff out there. How's the Smurf boner doing? You know what? I'm not using the Smurf boner today. I left it in the truck. But uh, <laughs> it's still going. Smurf, Smurf boner. I should do the Smurf boner song. That's gonna have to happen. I have to, I, I'm just terrible with lyrics. Just terrible. I'll have to do the Smurf boner song. Smurf boner. Now you guys, now you, see, there you go. I'm gonna have to do the Smurf boner song. I'll have to make it moist for John HVAC. Smurf boner. Worked on a York unit the other day. Boy, is the quality of York going downhill or have they always been crappy? I tend to work on, on more carrier stuff. <laughs> back to the H10. Hey, uh, Backrack's going to send me the combustion analyzer to demo. They wouldn't send me the H10 because they're doing a spring promo. They're going to have a bunch of stuff going for, this, for the H10 this spring. Yeah, lovely weather on my side of the pond, Terry, for sure. Terry, are you in the UK? What's it like over there right now? Yeah, they're still doing the propane fridges. True, true's propane. Yeah, thumbs down. Hey, we just got to get you. We just have to get used to it. Everything's going to be VRVs with inverters, and the little fridges are all going to be propane. It's we're going to all have to adapt. I need to get Lex Vance to do my guitar solos on my songs is what I need to do. That guy's a ripper. Oh, Delfield's R290 now too. God dang it. It was a matter of time. Yeah, we're going to have to adapt. It's been a lovely day here. 17. 17 Celsius? I don't even know what that is in Fahrenheit or is that 17 Fahrenheit? That's If that's Fahrenheit, that's cold. Beverage Air 2, Tyler? R290. Yeah. R290. We're going to have to adapt or starve. 17C. Hey, Terry, what does that come out to in Fahrenheit? Terry's going to crack up. My mom's from Nottingham, England. So I think we, st we still got family over there. I, I haven't been there since 1974 myself, since I was a kid. But it's on the bucket list. Go visit and drink a bunch of frickin' beers. <laughs> Why not? Shit, today looks like a good beer day after work, maybe. I'm gonna have to do one of those drunken live streams. Oh yeah, hey, you guys, check it out. Cinco, somewhere's around Cinco de Mayo weekend. Keep a lookout, I'm gonna do the, the live stream from the El Diablo run. All the regions for McDonald's are 290 now. I miss Cali in Kansas now, but I'll return back. Yeah. I. Hey, there's nothing wrong with California, man. It's nice. It just depends which part you're in. You know, the middle part's hot all summer. Those guys earn it. It's 100 degrees for three months out there in the valley, so. Still surfing, Dave? Yeah, man. I, matter of fact, there's some nice sandbars shaped up from all the rain. And we were just uh, planning some uh, extended lunch breaks, if you get what I'm saying. Timothy, what's up? Oh yeah, Orange County's nice, man. I like, uh, we used to go down there to San Onofre all the time, like by old mans and stuff. Never have a bad surf session out there. It's always fun. When the swell's up, it's killer. 
That's a fun place. Hang out all day. Hide your beers in the red cups so the lifeguard doesn't give you a ticket. Yeah, I was staring over there, there's a bunch of trolls out. It's like this is the homeless Mecca right here in my town. Homeless Mecca. Today's Wednesday, so what, we got two more days of work? I probably got five more days of work this week. This job here was a big job for myself. Doing those cook stores, putting those damn Omnitemp coils in those cook stores is tedious. Oh, it's got a text message. Oh yeah, I'll let you guys in on this little family stuff. The kid, he's he's 15 and a half, so he just he was just down taking his test for his driver's permit, and he passed. Shit, now we have to hustle up some more work to pay for that insurance. Oh, that's rad though. I gotta find a stick shift to rent, teach that kid how to drive the stick shift. And kids nowadays, if you have a stick shift, your car won't even get stolen. Those millennials, they don't even know how to drive a stick shift. So if you got a stick shift, they won't steal your car. You got any of you guys still got a stick shift? I used to love, I used to have a little 22R Toyota truck, man. That thing was bulletproof. Shit, the battery's still going. Look at that little bugger. Let's see, let me flip the camera around. Ah, little bugger's still going. Not bad, not bad. Oh, did I ask you, what do you guys think of this little thing? It's got a price point of like 500 bucks. I don't know if that's viable for any of you guys or not. Some feedback would be cool. And I don't know what the batteries cost. I'm clueless on that, I couldn't tell you. But so far, for the little jobs I've put it on, it's worked. Again, I'm not I'm not going for super duper fast speeds. There's my nitrogen rig. I'm leaving it up there. I'm waiting for I got one more coil for this unit to come. I was one coil away from a freaking picnic. I'd have had this job all done today. But I got one more little Omni temp, a little OTM eight that I had to order. Cause my dumbass missed one. I ordered the three, but there was one hiding behind these three little drawers. And that should be here by the end of the week. So this weekend, I should I should have this job done by this weekend. What else am I working on? I got a, uh, I got an Everest three door that has two condensing units on. I got to go take a peek at. And then uh, I got, oh, I got a bunch of stuff at some subways I got to go work on. And uh, that's about in the pipeline right now. I don't have any more installs going just yet. We'll see what's happening. It's still busy out there. You guys still busy as all hell's bells? The economy's roaring still. I haven't, I've never seen it this busy. My last summer, maybe. Last summer was freaking balls out. Balls to the walls. All right. Um. I think I talked to Zach on a text message. So I think I might go on their Sunday night show at six o'clock Pacific time. Uh, what's that one working? Is it called Working Joe's? I don't even know what it's called anymore. But uh, I gotta text Zach back and tell him I'll probably, he wanted me to go on there Sunday at six Pacific time. So I'll probably go check him out. Find something stupid to talk about. Maybe I'll talk about work shirts. Look at these. These are nice, huh? Dickies. That you guys wear the Dickies work shirts. You can tell I'm bored as hell, waiting for the vacuum to pull down. I don't smoke cigarettes, so I can't smoke. Waiting for the pump. Yeah. Do the old D. I used to have this friend of mine. He'd do the Dean Martin when we were at the bar picking up chicks. He'd have a cigarette right here, and he'd have a cocktail like, like right there, like that. And he'd always like take a drag. Yeah, 
and he would talk with his fingers out his cigarette. It was freaking hilarious. You can't smoke in the bars anymore nowadays, which is fine with me. But I thought that was hilarious. He had the moves. Movers. I didn't have any moves. My move was psh, glug. Glugger. Glug, glug, glug. Ring. Oh yeah, I cleaned up most of that pigeon shit. It, it, some of it's still stained, but most of it, it cleaned up pretty good. I had to change the oil on these twos. I was gonna video that. I thought that would have made a good video, but man, it was a lot of work. So I got into work mode and I didn't video. But hey, I'm gonna wrap this up because I know you guys are at work. I'm at work. We've already done it for 15 minutes. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think about the NAVAC. I'm digging it. I would love to hear from you guys if you think it's practical or viable or not even. I think it has a $500 price point, And I still think you would need to rock a total of four batteries. You'd probably use two on one job. And when you go to your next job, you could charge up those two and then use the next two. So I don't know... You'd have to figure out how you're going to work that out for the whole day. That's what I got to say. All right, signing out. Boop.